Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you the proper way to hook up an HCO5 or HCO6 Bluetooth module by using a logic level converter. Now in some of my previous videos you've seen me using voltage dividers hooking up the Bluetooth modules. Now this does work but the proper and the best way to hook these up is using a logic level converter. And I have um, done some looking around on YouTube and there really isn't any videos on how to use these for doing that. So I thought today I would make a video and show you how to use one of these to, to hook up your Bluetooth module. Now this is an 8 channel. You don't really need an 8 channel. You could use a 2 or 4 and that'll work. But um, the price difference between the smaller one to the 8 channel is like a matter of pennies. And having an 8 channel allows you to use this for other 3.3 volt devices. Like an RFID card reader and stuff like that. Because your Arduino board is a 5 volt. So what I'll do is I'll move the camera in here to the workbench. And I have put together a little circuit to demonstrate this working after being hooked up. And I will show you how to hook it up. And then I'll demonstrate it being used. And um, for more information on a logic level converter, uh, just click on the link below in the description for this project's web, web page. And uh, there will be a link on the web, web page for where to get these. And they are cheap. You're talking like a dollar, maybe two dollars for one of these, depending on where you buy it. But where I get my stuff, it's about a dollar for one of these. So, all right, I'll move the camera in and I'll see you there in just a moment. Okay, now for this demonstration, I have put a circuit together that's just an RGB LED, and I knocked up a quick app to control them. And if you're interested in this app and the circuit, if you want to try this out yourself, just uh, go to the website. Like I said before, there's a link in the description below, and... Uh, you can find the circuit uh, schematic for how to hook this up and a download link for my app. And I did write this app myself. Now for the, uh, the logic level converter, and that is this little item right here. And we got the Bluetooth module here. I'm using the HCO6. <clears throat> and then of course we got the Arduino board and I'm using a Nano. Um, this will work with any Arduino board. Now to hook it up is real simple. What you do is you have one side that has the HV and then there's one through eight and then there's the HV in ground and the HV pin goes straight to the five volt. The ground goes straight to the ground. Then there's the low level, the LV side, and there's eight that correspond. They're straight across from each other. Now what you have to do is the LV, which is the low level pin, needs to go to the 3.3 volt pin of the Arduino board. It's a reference pin that lets it know what voltage it's supposed to be using. Then the ground, of course, just connects to the ground on the uh, HCO6. And um, one little thing on uh, most 3.3 volt items, um, they run on 3.3 volts, but the HCO6 needs to be powered by 5 volts, although its logic only uses 3.3. So you have to run, and that's what this is here, the uh, voltage for the board itself has to be the 5 volts off the Arduino board. Otherwise, we have the two pins, the TX and RX, and that's this blue and white jumper here, and they connect to it, and then from this side they go, and remember, your TX goes to the RX on, on the Arduino, and vice versa. You just make sure you switch. The TX goes to RX, RX goes to TX, and it's super simple. To hook this up and like I said they these only cost about a dollar and it's a much more efficient and better way I've noticed the performance is actually better than using a, a voltage divider 
because what it does is the high level, the 5 volts coming in the logic, gets converted to 3 to go into the HCO6. Then everything coming out of the HCO6 goes in here, comes out at 5 volts back to the Arduino board. And oh, so I don't forget, this is a bi-directional. You don't want a single directional. I do believe that would be a unidirectional. You want a bi-directional so it works both ways. And um, if you're using a lot of 3.3 volt things with your Arduino projects, I would recommend buying one of these. And this 8 channel, you know, it was like a buck. If you want to minimize things for size, you can get away with a 2 channel. And the 2 channel will have... Um, and high one, high two, low one, low two, but it'll also have the voltage in and the ground. So there will be four pins on each side. Now, um, you can see it is working and it's connected up. Like I said, if you're interested in this app and stuff, just go to the website and you'll find a download link to get it. Um, Hope you found uh, this information useful, and like I said before, you can use a voltage divider. We can't get the blue to turn off there. She's being a little stubborn. Yeah, the screen protector I put on here, just, there we go. Well, I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. Please uh, give us a thumbs up if you found this information useful. It would be very appreciative. And make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos all the time. Lots of stuff to deal with Arduino, microcontrollers, and how to write apps for the Bluetooth control and uh, stuff like that. So have a great day. Hope to see you here again.